I want to say just a couple of things about the militia from my own personal uh, perspective. I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, according to the Constitution, uh, I I'm in the militia because, um, you know, I'm an American citizen, and since you're an American citizen, you're in the militia. Uh, and that's true. All right, but if you notice what the Second Amendment says, is it says a, a, a well-regulated militia being necessary. Okay, well, what does well-regulated mean? Does it mean the government regulates it? Um, well, the word regulated uh, is also related to the word regular, uh, like, you know, the British redcoats uh, during the Revolutionary War, the British redcoats were called, were called regulars. It's the same uh, concept. Or what's that mean, the regular kind of guys? Um, uh, what it means, uh, it, it, in that time period, what regulated mean, meant was it meant trained. It meant well-trained, uh, not controlled by the government. It just means that these, these guys get out on a regular basis uh, and train. Uh, and so, uh, you know, if you're, you know, feel like you're part of the militia because you're American citizens, you know, great. That's right, that you are. Uh, but I uh, urge you to think about the well-regulated part and get out and, uh, and start doing some training. And one other thing about uh, militia I'd like to mention since I'm getting, um, I'm, uh, um, getting up there in years now, um, and I hear people often speak about um, you know, the age bracket there, uh, I want to remind people that during on, uh, the Revolutionary War started on April 19th, uh, 1775. That was the, the day of a Paul Revere's ride. Our, the militia of, of that day consisted of, of uh, people from uh, 16 to 66. All right, but there were a lot of guys who had gotten older and they were not actually officially part of the militia, but they were part of the alarm list. All right, and these were some of the best fighters of that day uh, because uh, they were all veterans. They had fought you know, for the British uh, in previous wars. Um, and I want to tell you one in particular, the oldest uh, fella known um, of that day, April 19, 1775, was a fellow named Samuel Whittemore. How many of you have heard of Samuel Whittemore? Okay, a couple of people have heard of Samuel Whittemore. All right, on uh, April 19, 1775, Samuel Whittemore was 80 years old. All right, he was not actually uh, called out with militia, but he was on the alarm list. And what happened was when he got the alarm, he grabbed his old... Uh, saber, uh, he grabbed his two uh, pistols and he grabbed his musket and he went out on his own and he set up himself uh, uh, behind an ambush behind rocks and he started shooting at the British soldiers from about 150 yards away and 150 yards was, is quite a distance when you have a smooth bore rifle. All right, but he was so accurate and so fast that the British thought there must be a whole group of people over there behind the rocks so they sent a whole detachment out to get him. And when they got there, um, Samuel Whittemore shot, he took one of his pistols, and, well he shot with his musket, he shot one of the British soldiers and killed him. He pulled out his pistol, shot another one, killed him. Other pistol, shot another one and killed him. And he pulled out his sword, and at that time the, uh, one of the British soldiers shot him in the face and blew off part of his face. And then they bayoneted him 13 times, and uh, their bayonets were about 16, they were 16 inches long, and they were star, you know, triangular shaped. Uh, so they bayoneted him 13 times, and they left him for dead. All right. Then um, his, his friends came out and found him there later, and he was still alive, and when they found him, he was actually trying to reload his uh, oh, left hand. <laughs> All right, they took him off uh, to the doctor's house. Uh, and they said, uh, and the doctor looked at him and said, you know, there's, there's nothing I can do for this guy. He's too far gone. And they said, look, doc, this guy's a hero. He said, you're going to have to do, do whatever you can for him. So the doctor patched him up uh, and the best that he could. Uh, and Samuel Whittemore did die. But he died 18 years later. Oh. Oh, wow. um, and he, uh, and he, fathered, he fathered additional children. All right, so he died at 90, he died at 98 years old. So anyway, so whenever you guys start thinking that, uh, you know, us, us older guys can't keep up, uh, you know, I want you to keep I'll find something to do. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully it's not filling potatoes. Radio. Okay, radio, radio is, radio is great. Uh, yes. Um, but anyway, you're going to be hearing more about the uh, militia from us and, um,
again, uh, I thank the major for speaking. That, that was great. And we're, we're very proud to have you. And we're very proud to, uh, we're very, we appreciate very much the service that you guys um, uh, contribute to, uh, to our state and also to our nation. All right, uh, there are just a couple more pieces of uh, business that I need to uh, take care of here. Uh